what is up guys the yeah, Express here back with another tutorial you guys really liked my previous tutorial my anime twitter banner absolutely destroyed it the likes absolutely destroyed it the views as well i can't make 10,000 tutorials about anime banners so i'm here just making a simplistic um valorant banner because uh, easy tutorial maybe it's got about to take five minutes max uh, no more okay uh, the first thing you do is you search yourself for some characters of this game put them in you can do it with one character you can do it with three characters it's it's really your choice uh, make a new layer okay take your character one of them i'm gonna turn him around because previous time he was turned around and i'm gonna turn him around and i'm gonna turn around jet flip it as well make her smaller we split up the banner in two side in two different colors there it goes just select the one side and you can choose a color that you want just maybe a darker color maybe dark blue i kind of like that color not gonna lie okay put that on the other side go to your characters and you go to gradient map and you're gonna make a custom gradient uh, with that color that you used so it's the orange kind of yellowy and we put maybe a darker orange at the back really really dark orange though I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch these up because I like that. I'm gonna reverse that because that looks better. And let me see how that looks. Hmm. Maybe you put in the front uh, white so it pops out a bit more. See? See those colors? And maybe at the back we also put a bit darker. Something darker, not too dark though. There you go, something like that. And then the other side, I'll just do a black uh, to white gradient. Okay, then you search up, um, let me make a new tab in Google Chrome. And you search up Valorant map. Uh, Valorant map. And you choose a background from a map that you like. I'm just going to take this map uh, and put that above the color. Um, put it on the layer put it on luminosity and put the opacity around 10 there you go you make yourself little rectangles like that and you copy them on all the way just like that there you go and we have a nice little stroke at the bottom um, then I'll do my little effect in the bottom, like this little s swirl that I did. Uh, make a new layer and do something like this with, uh, with the pen tool. Then you fill this in with a color that you like. I'm going to take a darker orange, something like that. I'm going to fill that up. There you go. Like this, kind of like that. Uh, I'm going to copy it and put it uh, on the other side. Make it a bit bigger uh, there you go and also I'm gonna take an other color I'm gonna take a light white well, okay like that I think I'm gonna put down your opacity a bit yeah there you go oh delete path and just put that up like that okay and this side in the tutorial in my um, in my preview i put some guns from the game so just look up some couple of pngs of the guns let's rasterize both all, all three of them layers make them a bit smaller there you go and put them above the this layer the black one or the dark blue and just turn them a bit around there you go this is G. I'm gonna merge these layers all together and put the opacity around 15. Yeah, put them around 15. There you go. Kinda like that. Maybe I wanna make them a bit bigger. Yeah, a bit bigger. So you have something in the background like that. I'm gonna blur them out, so I'm just gonna gauge and blur them 1.5. So they're blurred. Okay, there you go. Uh, if you want difficult banners just let me know in the comments down below if you want really like 30 minutes of a 30 minute tutorial of maybe an hour tutorial 
they really are like yeah i want to know how he made this and that if i really put some time in it um and just do the same thing copy him and uh, duplicate them copy them and turn them horizontally and make them a bit longer there you go and up to the text this is just a simplistic text as is the band that's simplistic um, I'm gonna put um, name and I use the font overgrow but you can use whatever font you want and I'll put this in the middle and more to the left so like this and I'm gonna put it above everything there you go and I'm gonna duplicate that text uh, select the text make it way way bigger take a this is maybe too big we'll make them a big, bit smaller something like this yeah put that in the middle just double click your layer so you have the layer style um, put the opacity on zero put a stroke on it maybe outside and a two good okay there you go and just make it a normal layer and put the opacity down the opacity way down and i why would i think i move i didn't like that so i think i deleted the right part and maybe i put the opacity a bit higher so you can see it properly uh, i'm going to erase these parts on the character there you go and i had this little these little things maybe i'll make it a bit bigger yeah like that yeah okay um maybe put the opacity a bit down again five maybe a ten something like that and then i uh, copy it my name text again make it way smaller and put them beneath it and then you can put your uh, ad of twitter or another part of your name or whatever thing name or whatever you want and i put it i put it on a different um, font i put it on cool ferica and i made it a bit bigger and i put the spacing a bit more there you go and i maybe can put it there and just play with your uh, with your font a bit and your text style a bit and then i just added some details some little specks of color in my in my work just take a yellow or the color that you used and just plop plop and maybe this too big of a brush make it a bit smaller maybe around 500 400 and just put it somewhere and then just put them on screen and put the opacity around 50 and then you want to do the same thing but with a white and then at the other side more there you go maybe you can also put one here but also put it on screen and the opacity around 50 put it on the same layer and that was a, quite an accident you can merge everything together make a duplicate of them and make it merge it together and then layer it via cut so you don't have anything around the render and i also like to go to camera raw filter to edit the colors and let's go let's edit the colors a bit let's make it a bit more popping the highlights okay shadows darker the whites no, we can do the hue and saturation but actually just the hue and we can change the colors a bit the orange you can change a bit more to the red side there you go and now the blue maybe a bit more gray or a bit more purple whatever you like let's see how that works what do you guys like the, the first one or the second one it's up to you guys really um what i also like to do is uh, duplicate it um go to filter um other high pass and then put them on soft light so you can see if you zoom in it's a bit more detailed and we just put your opacity a bit down uh, and as always if you hit five likes i'll put the link of this in the description so you can download it and edit it uh, how you like and uh, you will have to edit your own uh, camera roll filter so it look like it would look like this and i'll just you just can easily take your text tool and change it to your name and then everything is fine